The band is a community. You know that very well. And I know that a lot of you are able to think of your bands as your second family. Hi everyone, my name is Rob Hammerton. This summer would have been my 22nd as a member of the Drum Major Academy staff. I've got a couple of thoughts for you and other band student leaders about a couple of different kinds of band members. The Bandos from Birth and the Benjis. Benji is a character in a story told by DMA's great friend Dr. Tim Lotzenheiser. In short, Benji was the terrified freshman who was ready to quit band during band camp until a drum major intercepted him, adopted him, kept him in the band, and, well, I won't spoil the ending for you, but it would make you smile. Every year, there are versions of Benji in every band's pack of new members. You yourself may have been one of them. If so, then you, as a drum major or a section leader or a color guard captain, now have the opportunity to pay it forward and keep your Benji in the game. On the other hand, it may well be that the people we do attract as new band members are the ones who are gonna do band anyway. A lot of your upperclassmen your veterans may well be those people. They're gonna march and play until the instant they graduate. They're the kind of people who would do band even if every halftime show had to be performed in a Category 2 hurricane. They would do band if Genghis Khan were the director. No matter what, they're gonna be bandos. Very often, band is an activity that keeps people in school. For a few people, it literally keeps them from bailing out entirely. For others, it's a little more metaphorical. I, as a perfectly decent high school student, could not wait until I got to the band room or out to the practice field and shut everything else out. So keeping folks connected to the activity can be anywhere from helpful to crucial. Every year we face a challenge, especially this year, but it never changes. And it's this, whether band is remote, hybrid, or all hands on deck in person, how do we communicate to new and veteran band members that band is the great thing we know it to be? Show, don't tell, is what my writing teacher said to me. So how do we show this? Stay with me, I'm going long. I'm a church choir director. Can you imagine any other activity that's more gutted by COVID? The expulsion of breath in an enclosed space by people who need to be close to each other in order to hear each other properly and whew, obviously we choir people can't conduct business as usual. On top of that, we've got a problem which isn't your problem as high school drum majors and section leaders and color guard captains. Most of our people are grandmas and grandpas the people who are most at risk of dying of COVID. But we keep meeting, not in person, we're not reckless, online via Zoom. We are dauntless. Current video conferencing technology, as I sit here right now, isn't quite good enough to let us sing together live. But our choir and instrumentalists keep on meeting on Zoom. We laugh a lot. We talk about the music we would be doing if we could get together. We keep tabs on each other. In addition, I've been making weekly choir director check-in videos for our choir and our congregation. To close each one, my tagline is, keep in touch, keep the faith, stay connected. However you accomplish them with your band, those three things are gonna be crucial, this year or any year. They have nothing to do with conducting or calling commands. They have very little to do with playing notes or hitting dots or catching cleanly, but they're what we've gotta do. We've gotta maintain three things. Communication, literally people's enthusiasm about our activity, and our band's sense of community. Oh, and by the way, take care of your band director too. She or he is grieving the loss of what band was this fall, just as much as you are. How you do that, whether it's online or in person, that's your call. But start thought, do what works. You know best what works for your band. Maintaining these three things can make it possible for your band to stay strong, or to come back strong when the time comes. Keeping up the communication, obviously, so people don't forget their bandos. Keeping up the enthusiasm, too, so people don't forget they love to be bandos. And keeping up the sense of community, so people don't forget that they're each other's bandos. Band is a community. You know that very well. And I know that a lot of you are able to think of your bands as your second family. That community, that family, can have a lifelong impact on the people in it. Thanks for watching. Good luck this year. And again, what I say to my choir folks at the end of every video, which truly is what I say to my DMA conducting video room and squad competition students at the end of every clinic when we encourage them to let us know how it's going, is what I'll say to you now. Keep in touch, keep the faith, stay connected.